it's concerning that having real ingredients in food products is a marketing and selling point. Was just thinking that yesterday about a box of mac and cheese. Made with real milk and cheese like oh shit that's a smoking hot deal. And real means nothing. Gasoline would be a real ingredient. This is a ridiculous notion perpetuated by folks trying to sell their products and luckily for them the trend picked up. Real ingredients what does that even mean? Along the same line of thought, chemical products are not natural and hence not good for you. But then you realize that everything natural and real is also literally made of chemicals. Ascorbic acid? Yeah that's found in citrus fruits. Sugar. Salt. They are chemical compounds. Heck H2O. Bottom line just because you have never heard of something before doesn't mean you can immediately think it's bad for you. Ah yes, real ingredients. As opposed to all of the other brands, who sell you imaginary bread or irrational cheese. It's all just marketing bullshit. People have been conditioned to think that real is good and artificial is fake and bad. When really, there's no real meaning in those two words. All just marketing bullshit. I saw a product the other day market as plant-based crackers. Thank God. I've only been finding meat-based crackers in the aisle. It's just there for the idiots who think GMOs will be the end of the world or something. Cereal box now with more wheat than any other ingredient. WTF was in it before? Yeah. I started baking during the pandemic. You know what you need to make a great loaf of bread? Flour, water, yeast, and salt. Olive oil if you want to be fancy. Sugar, milk, eggs, butter, whatever isn't necessary in any way. That isn't to say I do tea use milk and eggs and butter sometimes but it's amazing to me. I bought a can of peas today and I'm really lucky they were gluten-free no extra charge. Whenever anyone asks me if I want the organic food item name, I immediately ask if they have an inorganic one available. To their credit, capitalists trying to sell us the solutions to the problems they cause is very on brand. Tired of ads and commercials? Buy our ad free service. Worried about global warming? Buy a new eco friendly car. Want to avoid polluting your body with the weird chemicals dumped into processed foods? Buy some vegan organic low sodium sugar free non GMO products. Scared that some right winger is going to shoot up your school or parade or library? by some private security. This has been a thing since the invention of prepackaged and prepared food. It's entirely reasonable to have on food that is prepackaged and prepared. If it makes you uncomfortable then don't buy prepackaged and prepared food. When you buy chicken or eggs or bread or apples it doesn't say that, because it's the same food that people were buying since whatever good old days pre this marketing phenomenon that you're imagining. Every ingredient is real. It would be more concerning if ingredients were imaginary. I know this is going to lead to a furious circle jerk but there is regulations as to what is modified or can claim real. There is also an abundance of products that simply could not exist without some modification to something that would be seen as an innocuous ingredient. Soups gravy frozen foods dressings breading even yogurt utilize materials that maintain performance and extend shelf life. That bread on your counter for two weeks. That would have been waste. It's marketing but it plays on the consume misconception that natural means healthy. The more concerning part is when there's a percentage with it like 95 real juice unamused face. Yes but arguably it's more aso about catering to the perceptions of their consumers that many foods nowadays contain too many unnatural and therefore bad ingredients. I only eat food with unreal ingredients. If I believe it, I won't eat it. All ingredients are real ingredients. Stuff isn't made of magic. This is why I really wish they'd hurry up and figure out exactly what it is that's in frozen chicken nuggets and pizza and chips that's causing colon cancer, instead of just giving me a vague avoid heavily processed foods message and then looking at me funny when I go all chimp hope. When it comes to products at a grocery store, natural is not what you think it is. 
fruit juices are the worst for this, because it's always from a concentrated solution. Made with 100 real oranges excuse me. What else could this orange juice be? So glad to know the extra added sugars are coming from oranges, few that would be terrible. And just having real ingredients should in no way be taken to imply that the product will actually taste good. I don't care how good the ingredients are, once you run them through a factory, the flavor usually dies. Cooking at home can really change your tastes. Organic food, or as our ancestors called it, food. Stephen Colbert Made with 100 real fruit juice. The fine print 99 sugar, 0.9 gum extract, 0.1 juice. The finer fine print juice is 98 water, 1 red number 9 coloring, 1 tomato. Even fake cheese could be called real cheese because it is, in fact, real. That is the legal loophole that allows them to call anything they want real. I've always wondered why products have to specify made with real cheese and the like. I even saw made with real ice cream once. What else would be in it? This is my argument for organic food. We have to pay more for it not to have a bunch of shit in it. We act like it's some special grade of food when it's just fucking how food's supposed to be. A, I should care but I really don't. I expect a lot of my food to be fake. Doesn't really bother me as long as it tastes good and doesn't abruptly kill me. This reminds me of how, a few years back an almond producer was slapped with a fine by the FDA for claiming almonds were healthy the same year the FDA awarded Doritas the heart healthy seal of approval. This is just a thought. Not a shower thought. The mods are so hot and cold on this sub. I bought milk that bragged 25 less sugar. It disturbed me to the core. My wife and I were at the Dollar Tree getting stocking stuffers and at the register I saw a can of grated topping with parmesan cheese. I started laughing and told the guy at the register that stuff looked suspect as hell. I was like 99 sawdust, one cheese he laughed and said someone had returned it got their $1.25 back lol. Saw on Snapple bottle naturally flavored with natural flavors. It's considering you find that something of note at all. There are no more fake ingredients in food products. Trans fats were phased out. Real doesn't mean anything. Fake ingredients also aren't necessarily bad for you. You actually need to do your own research on what's good and what's bad and not just rely on words like real or artificial. Today I saw a soda from I think the UK that advertised that it had real bits. Soda. Real bits. Sometime in the mid-late 90s I remember seeing McDonald's Chicken McNuggets being advertised with now made with real chicken. Like what the hell were McNuggets made with before? This is one of many reasons why we need more and stricter government oversight. A small government with few regulations is going to let big government destroy the world even faster. I went on a liquid diet because of this. Ham's 30 packs FTW. Shop around the outside of the store. Hard to fake milk, meat, produce, dairy, and booze. Yeah they might not be ethically raised but beats the hell out of some ambiguous gelatinous funk packaged in a red box with plastic and names I can't pronounce. Or no harmful chemicals in personal care products. It just goes to show that this company actually cares about you, not like you, Procter Gable, WHY doesn't yours denounce harmful chemical sobs. Brought to you by the same people that want you to be afraid of dehydrogen monoxide. McDonald's McNuggets, now made with Real Chicken. Wait, WTF was it made of before? It's not at all concerning because good marketing is about educating the consumer about the best option for them. Now that people care about real food, this is just good marketing. There's also the difference between made with and made of. If it says made of something then that's what it has to be. If it says made with something then that can just be one of the ingredients, and not even a very big one. Made with real cheese might mean that five of the cheese flavor is cheddar. Introducing the new burger burger with real beef. Um, WTF was it before?